How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for it. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. I suppose you're right. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. 
The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... there must be some way. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Let's go. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. We're about five minutes out. Husks! Take him out! Shoot him! I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. Take these things out the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> Don't let them grab you.
gotta find a way out of here. Watch it! Through this way. Gotta get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel, talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <sighs> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. Oh. Major Elenko, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Major! Kate! Damn it, they're in trouble! Gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs>
Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going! You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together! It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard.
What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, cause I- uh, Stow it, Lieutenant. You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard, sustained heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find his outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. No contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. bigger in person. Pretty average for Mars, actually. I'm glad you're so optimistic. Yeah, we've got Reapers invading Earth, the station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. Fair enough.
look like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You know, I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. Look out! Doesn't look like they came here in force. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Must have had help from the inside. You could be right. No way they could take this facility with anything less than a full battalion. Shepard, I need a straight answer. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? I used them to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just a... You don't trust Cerberus? Fine. But I'm done explaining myself to you. Are we clear? Perfectly. I didn't mean to. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the Goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard? Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I think your work here is a bit more important. True enough. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Sounds like this weapon might be our best chance to blow the Reapers to hell. It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Are... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives.
We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the ship. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. I can use Singularity to draw them out. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Find a way up. They've sabotaged the elevator. There's got to be another way up. How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Controls should be nearby. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Corre. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move.
need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as you... Uh. I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. You did what needed to be done. Right now, I need you to get us to the Archives. Through the door. We're getting close. Nice. Let's move. What's that stench? They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. This is where they studied the various relics unearthed here. More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Line takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you. Damn it.
from here. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? Caden, I'm still me. But I've got a mission, and I'm not gonna force you to come along. I'm with you, Commander. I just wanted you to know why I'm... Come on. Let's see if we can get them to send that tram over. Hello, this is... Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell are you been? Status. We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Got it. Right away. Here they come. We have contact.
King. Shepard. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. Earth is under siege, and you're hatching a scheme to control the Reapers? You've always been short-sighted, hasty. Your destruction of the Collector base proves that. I destroyed that base because I didn't trust you with the information. This isn't your fight any longer, Shepard. You can't defeat the Reapers, even with the Prothean data. You brought me back because you knew what I could do. I can defeat them. Doubtful. The odds aren't in your favor. More importantly, I don't want the Reapers destroyed. We can dominate them, use their power, harness their very essence to bring humanity to the apex of evolution. With that data, I'll rid the galaxy of those machines once and for all. Your vision is pathetically limited. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Now.
data. Dispose of him. Grab that thing. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Caden. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Shepard, are you reading me? Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander, Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. 
I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Meeting with the Council is our top priority. I'll head up to Adina's office now. Meet you there. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that c -Sec and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. 
If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Counselor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Counselor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tetris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense, and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander. I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Balvin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... The Reapers are tearing us apart and you want to make a deal? I'm trying to help you, Commander. The summit leaders set our war strategy, and this council is beholden to their decision. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. 
Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. The Council. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? That is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the Counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His homeworld is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone... Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. 
Keep doing what you're doing with Alliance R&D. We need our best minds at work, giving us every advantage possible. I'm a field doctor, Commander, not a research scientist. Eden Prime, the Battle of the Citadel, defeating the Collectors. We've been through too much together to let it end now. Let me serve on the Normandy. Please, Commander. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking Bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Early reports indicate that Earth has fallen to the same enemy force that attacked him. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. I'm actually here to see you. Oh, really? How can I help you? This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel Clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Incursions by enemy forces are being reported in Turian colonies. Patient stable for now. Touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freeman. The Asari colony is across the course of action. I'll see if we have the required special bindings. Hi, Doctor. Meet you back here. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Kate. Fight. And that's an order.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory, where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Dina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out.
Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Barnes, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. That's a big loss for everyone. Reaper bastards. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Pasks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Well, I'm not leaving this moon until I know where the new Primarch is. I'll fix your tower. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go!
can't repair it from this panel. James, you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. You got. As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavan. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavan. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. Unconventional thinking might be the only way to save Palavan. And Earth. He'll do whatever it takes. Reminds me of an old human specter I knew. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? 
do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. done here. the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Of orange. 
the big that's where I was born that's rough you still have family there my dad a sister how bad is it three million lost the first day five the second how's your military holding up look around that should give you some idea you're putting up a good fight for now but how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of them? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. You're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. And it's down. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Commander, in terms of that crash, 50, 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the main, sir. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. No survivors. Damn it. A crash like that, it's not surprising. Commander, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with them. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. That sounds bad. Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primarch from me. Right behind you!
General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. This is crucial. I need you on top of your game. Are you in or out? Watch your tone, Commander. Look, you've met the Reapers head on. You're overqualified. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. I apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander, and goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arcturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol System. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. 
I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Any updates on Cerberus? They're still the wild card here. Hitting the Archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Whatever's happening, it's taken Edie offline. Problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. You sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. We're not gonna beat the Reapers by second-guessing ourselves, Garrus. I need you at your best. Every decision we make is the right one. And when we're wrong? We haven't been so far. There are times I wish we were. Convincing my people the end was coming got pretty rough. They didn't want to hear it. Finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. 
Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along? We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Shepard, what's happening? Something's in the AI core. Edie, you'd better go quickly. I'll check on my own computers. Running safe mode diagnostics, please. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence. From your allied forces, thank you for the Dr. data Tony has granted you the access. Results are available on the information network terminal. Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joke, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, 
to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. It's not an average school. They might even be doing work for the Alliance. This sounds like a job for an evac transport. Right, and a Turian transport responded to their distress call. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. <laughs> 